Okay, this video we're going to go over the magic of how to take this Edpuzzle and put it into your Google Doc. Um, first thing we're going to do is, so you already have the Insert Learning Chrome extension installed, and I'm going to load it on this Google Doc now. And this will prompt me to publish the Google Doc. So publishing in Google Doc, um, we talk about more in depth in one of our other videos. Basically, it just makes a view-only, kind of like web page version of that document. Now we've got the full text, and any changes that we make to the original Google Doc will sync up on here. And we want to take this Edpuzzle and embed it in there. So I'm going to click on Share, and then copy the embed code that they have right there. So I'm going to copy that, and going back over to our published one, use the sticky note, and now, um, with the sticky note goes based on paragraphs, and so each of these lines gets treated as a paragraph. And so let's say if we want to put this after this line, there's a sticky note. Now we're going to paste that embed code. Now we've got a fully working Ed Puzzle in our Google Doc. Um, so the way it works, the same, just like you'd expect for Ed Puzzle. As it goes along and it plays, when it gets to the question, it's going to go ahead and pause. Um, and now you can, you know, add in your notes and things like that. Now for me, the way that I've used Edpuzzle with Insert Learning is because any student responses in here won't sync up to your Insert Learning lessons and vice versa, right? So you still have two separate two separate areas. But the way that I personally use Edpuzzle is I use the questions to help guide the student thinking and then I'll follow that up with a question or a discussion after that within Insert Learning. So now I can say from the above video and then I'll have, you know, some sort of like you know, critical thinking question now based on everything they've kind of learned from the video with all of my notes and the questions that were kind of guiding them along in that video. Um, and then we create, now the students will just answer right there. So that is the magic of how to take your Edpuzzle videos and embed them into your Google Docs.